What's up guys, Abel Sky here with another one of Richard's decks. This is Green br Blue the Proliferate. Again, this is a deck based on destroying a lot of creatures. Not all decks run with creatures, but when you have a lot of creatures to destroy, this deck is the one that destroys them. Now, it's only swamps and islands here. We don't have any dual lands, any fetch lands, anything like that. But it might be added later, simply to give the deck a little more synergy. On the creatures side, we have a couple fume spitters. We have a couple thrumming birds. We have a soul snuffers. Ugh. A viral drake. Four copies of Carnifex Demon, one of which is foil. As you can see, a Grim Poppet, which is pretty expensive, but considering there are 12 islands and as many, if not more, swamps, then eventually you're going to get this thing out, and it's going to be amazing. Also, it helps with the artifact synergy in this deck, as you'll see later on. Trinket Mage is a very fun card. You can see the effect there. And you can proliferate it up. It's got a big toughness for taking care of some of the blockers that you may have or for protection against Carnifex demon killing everything so it really helps because a lot of this deck is non-creatures there are only 12 or so creatures in the deck that's when this stuff comes in steady progress wonderful card you have a scar that is R2, get your counters, Grim Affliction, this deck needs maybe more of these, arguably one of the best proliferate cards in the Scars of Mirrodin block. Necro Gen Sensor, very great if you have a lot of proliferation, which this deck does get. Tumble Magnet, which becomes unstoppable. Golden Urn, if you want to feel like an evil person. And still Infection is pretty expensive, and I would replace it if this was my deck with another Grim Affliction. But for now, it draws us a card as well, and it's a pretty great instant, just in general for flavor. Divination, again, is just drawing cards. Always helps when you're in a tight spot. So does Disperse. Gets rid of your pesky planeswalkers and enchantments, gets rid of your O-rings, although that really wouldn't help that much. Crap. Well, unsummon's always fun. Uh, Contagion Clasp helps with proliferation, and it looks amazing. It's the most evil tick in the world. <sighs> this is, again, arguably one of the best proliferate cards just because of all the draw that it has you do. Drawing cards in any deck is just amazing. Can you imagine if at the end of each turn of Magic the rule was that you drew cards until there were seven cards in your hand? That would be stupidly overpowered. And that's why drawing cards is just so powerful. Well, you already saw the big spoiler at the deck, but let's get to it eventually. Trigon of Corruption, very fun. Gets counters on stuff, you proliferate them if you don't have Carnifex Demon, and you kill things. Chimeric Mass pretty much has protection from Carnifex Demon, because it turns back into artifacts and it's just big and you can make it so much bigger with the uh, proliferation and stuff like Contagion Engine. <laughs> I love Contagion Engine. I hate playing against it. I love playing with it. Works great with a Gavany Township, works great with Micaeus, works great with Infect, and there's only a one Infect card in this deck, but even so, Infect is a very powerful mechanic, and everyone hates it. Everyone hates Infect. Get this through your skull. Inexorable. Inexorable. Hold on. You said. If it, there's a. Those are contagion engines. That is the sea of contagion engines. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> Mox Opal, it's a uh, pull from Richard, along with Jace the Mind Sculptor. We're not going to buy either of these because they're very expensive, but Mox Opal works great to get you a little extra mana with your artifacts, and when you're proliferating several times per turn, 
there is no better card you could have than Jace the Mind Sculptor. First three abilities you can activate at any time that you want because you're just going to be pouring counters on him. In a multiplayer game, you can activate his epic ability several times per game, and it's pretty amazing. The only thing that I regret is that when we were buying these packs, I gave this one to Richard, I kept a couple for my own, and I missed out on making a deck like this. But what Richard's done with this deck is pretty amazing. He's got a lot of great stuff going, and it ends up being a very powerful thing to play against. Well, that's Proliferate, and everyone still hates Infect. Peace!